I find myself in need of a small router plane. And while I have one, uh, the blade is a little bit wider than what I need. And that is to put a truss rod in this guitar neck. And uh, well, here we are. Let's make one. I buried the lead here. We're making it out of scrap wood and an Allen key. This should be fun. And a bolt. I think we can do it with that. Excellent. So Allen keys are often made out of uh, uh, nice, good quality steel that one can harden properly. Uh, I'm going to assume that that is the case here. And wood is generally made out of uh, natural stuff. It grows. It's fine. That's not funny, is it? So the Allen key needs to go in the wood uh, with a, a locking screw to lock it in place and it needs to be comfortable to push. The Allen key is sticking out the bottom too far uh, because the hole is a little bit too narrow there. That's not an issue. I'm going to go in with a step drill. Step drills rule if you haven't uh, had the pleasure. That will do nicely. So I need a tapped hole from the back of the what's going to be a blade uh, to just lock it in place against the front. I also think that if I'd started with uh, rectangular stock, this whole thing would have been a little bit easier. Strictly speaking, I probably don't really need to tap the wood. Uh, I could probably just force the bolt through and it would be done. I don't want to do that. Why would I want to do that when I actually have the tools here and it's so easy? We're going through, coming up on an inch of material here, and that is more than enough. It, it would keep its strength and the tap and hold the bolt in place for sure. I am, however, going to show you a trick. So there we go. I mean, that, that will work absolutely fine. The trick is super good. And while I don't think it's necessary, it can't hurt to flood that with super glue and then retap. It, it occurs to me that some of you think that I may have a problem with super glue. And uh, I use it at every given opportunity. And unpacking that, I think you might be right. Uh, where I studied building early stringed instruments uh, at West End College, we used hide glue. We didn't even use that newfangled tight bond three. Uh, it was non-existent. Um, there was one other student though, who had a single bottle of super glue that everyone borrowed. And uh, yeah, I think the, uh, the lack of such a useful tool back then has uh, informed me now. Uh, I said all of that by way of waiting for my superglue to cure, and I'm going to carry on now. I don't have a problem with superglue. It's just good stuff. Okay, there we go. There we go. So that's uh, stronger than it was, and perfectly, perfectly serviceable. While we're here, just a little coat of the Crimson High Build guitar finishing oil. I suspect I'm wearing one too few gloves. We're going to go on to grind the Allen key now. Goggles and hearing protection. We want the cutting edge. Uh, the bevel, the bladed bit, to be the first thing to touch. We don't want the whole blade to be perfectly flat. We want it to be angled slightly forward. Mm. 
so that I know what the geometry is, I'm putting the blade in and actually locking it in place with the bolt. There we go. So the, the blade is ever so slightly cantered forward. Not quite flat though, so. That, that, was, uh, that was a little dodgy, but uh, I have an angle, a bevel, a bevel, and an angle, and a blade. I need fire. Next up, I'm going to heat this up to a cherry red color, and then dunk it in water and hope we'll have something very, very hard. I will not need to anneal it, after, temper it afterwards. Um, I don't think, because it's such a small thing, it, it should be fine. So this should be very, very hard now. And generally what one does is uh, you do that, then you warm it up slowly to a straw color, and then um, that will be both hard, but also uh, supple enough for use. Uh, I'm not gonna bother with that at this stage. Uh, the, and the way to test is to see if a file skates off it or not. And yeah, not actually. I could just lie. Should I lie? Can I lie? No. Okay. Uh, this this metal. Like I said right at the beginning, it's probably not, it felt too soft when I was filing it, um, or grinding it at least, and uh, yeah, it hasn't really taken. Uh, I found another Allen key, same size, and this time I did the intelligent thing, and something that I urge you to do too. <laughs> Can you tell that I've been watching The Crown recently on Netflix? Um, okay, uh, I've just heated this up to a cherry red and quenched it, prior to doing any work on the damn thing. And uh, yes, it does actually get harder. So now I'm going to go and do all the work, grind it, etc. You've seen all that, you don't need to see any more. We'll be back. Uh, without moving cameras about and stuff, making another one. Actually, it took about 12 minutes. And uh, yeah, I'm skating off. I'm hard enough, I am going to sharpen this. I'm not gonna show you that process. There is no need, I have made a million other videos, or well, like three or four on sharpening. Uh, I'm gonna yeah, use a standard water stone and go for it. And uh, well, I'll meet you back in a second when I'm using it. Definitely not the prettiest tool in existence, but sharp, fit for purpose, and I'm happy. That took, not including the time to make the tool, it probably took 45 minutes to actually make the truss rod channel. And uh, I used a chisel a little bit uh, in the ends and it wasn't the smoothest of jobs, to be honest. I got some shavings, but uh, a little bit out there. Now, what I would say is the problem with this, two things. Because we use the Allen key, we have a bevel uh, on the blade, and uh, that means that it wanted to it wanted to cut into the edges of the channel, whereas uh, the size of the traditional manufactured router plane blade are nice and square, and uh, that keeps it in the channel. Now, the other thing I would say is. 
both of these, the bodies are too small. I really, because of the way that the blade is protruding out like that, I think that having a longer, a longer body would give you much more support and it would stop the blade from digging in. And there we have it. Thank you very much for watching. Please click like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, if you want to see the rest of that cavity being routed out, uh, go back if you haven't yet watched it and check out the uh, episode three of Building Nebula 2. I'm going to assume that you're watching this far into the future and don't know what day it is. See you soon. Goodbye. Why did it have to be flamed maple? Why?